Hi and welcome to PeaceMeg TV. In this week's video, I'm going to take you through and demonstrate how you can deal with one of the most inherent problems you get when you get a popular blog or a WordPress based site that starts to get popular and that's the problem of having fake signups. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one way of dealing with that through a simple plugin that we can use. So let's check out how to do that right now. Now there are lots of ways you can deal with this problem. One of the simplest is to add some form of capture to your sign up or registration page. So to do that, we're going to use a plugin, a free plugin, and we're going to go through and set that up and see what it takes to configure everything where you need it to. So we're going to do it, jump down to the plugin section and come down to add new. And once we've done that, we're going to go and search for the plugin that we want. And this is better WordPress recapture. So let's just do a search for that. As you can see, the first option is better WordPress recapture. And that's what we're going to use. Now, it says that it hasn't been updated in a while and that it isn't tested with this particular version of WordPress, which is the latest version. But I've had no problems with it. And it's a pretty simple job in what it needs to do. So all we're going to do is give it a click on install now. Let that go through, download it, install it. Once we've done that, we can then activate it. And we're good to go with some of the simple settings that we need to configure. So there we go. All I'm going to do is click on activate. Once that's done, that's going to put a new option down the left hand side. You can see we now have BWP recapped. If we go over that, we can see we've got general options and theme options. And what we're going to do is go to general options to start off with. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is to get a recapture API key, and that's available free from Google. So all you need to do is make sure you've got a Gmail account or a Google Mail account that you've got everything set up in there. And what you can do is you can simply come down, you can see we've got for this plugin to work, you'll need a pair of API keys, which are available for free here. So all you need to do is click on that. That'll open up a new tab. And you can see I've got a couple of different websites that I've got linked in there. And all I need to do is come down and put in the link that I want or the name that I want for this. So we just call this test site. And what I need to do underneath then is put in the link to my website, the domain. Now, obviously, I'm testing this on my local server. So for this to work, I simply need to put in localhost and get rid of everything else. But you'd put in your domain, such as mydomain.com, so on. Once you've done that, click on register. That will then take you through and show you the API keys that are specific to your particular account and your domain. So all we need to do now is copy the site key. So you just copy that from there, jump back, place down the first one, and then jump over to the secret key and do the same again for the secret key. So we'll just copy this information, copy that, drop that in there, and we can now hit save. And we've done the basics. We put everything we need in it. Now we can go through and configure some of this information to make it work the best it can with the site that we're working with. So you can see we've got use recapture version one, so you can use that if you want to, the older version of it. I'd say just leave it as it is. See, request method, I'd leave that to auto detect, but you have a couple of different options available. And you can see every little question mark that'll tell you exactly what that function is for. What I would recommend when it comes to the main functionality is to specify on the comment form, the registration form, and the login form. So anybody that tries to comment, register, or login will see that capture form or that that little sort of check this, I'm not a robot kind of option to make sure that it can't be done automatically or it should reduce the amount of, of people signing up with this junk. So you can see we've got hide capture for and you can go through and specify if you want to hide that capture option based upon some certain parameters. So registered users won't see it, uh, users who can manage options or read profile and so on. So you can do that. Next up, we've got on the comment form, where do you want this particular form to be or this particular element to be? So you can see the capture position is after comment field or after form fields, name, email, and website. If invalid capture response, you can specify what you want to happen if they put an invalid capture in there. And you can see we've got the error message so we can customize that if we want to. If you're using a Kismet on your website to reduce the comment spam, then you can use this to integrate it with that. And again, you can see you've got the option, if a correct capture response, what happens when you do that. And finally, if you're using contact form seven on your website, you can control how that's integrated into it as well. So you can see we've got integrated with contact form seven. 
treat invalid capture as spam. So you've got some options there to work with capture, sorry, contact form seven. So there's a whole range of options, but as a bare minimum, I'd specify these three options are checked by default. So you make sure you cover the most basic minimum things you want to cover on there. And we'll hit save changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a different browser where I'm not logged in and I'll show you what you see on screen now when you activate this better WordPress recapture plugin. So now if I try to log in, you can see we've got the normal WordPress login section. So username, email and password. We've also now have the I'm not a robot checkbox, which is our recapture, which is linked into our Google account. So that's nicely integrated, looks unobtrusive and works really, really well. As you can see, we've got a simple option for just to check this to specify you're not a robot. So let's just jump back into the settings a second. And let's just swap this over. So you can see we've got use the old school recapture and make sure request the recapture server or the secured. So we'll just enable that and we'll just hit save. And then what I'm going to do is I'll just bring the page back in and we can see the difference. So if I bring the page back in, you can see this is the older version, which is a little more obtrusive, but you could say it possibly is a little bit safer because someone has to read exactly what's in this particular recapture and then type that in below. You can choose whichever method you think works best for you, whether you want to use this version or the slightly less obtrusive just checkbox. But that all, that's all there is to it. So that now has been integrated into our registration, our sign up, our comment section, and our login section. So whichever one is being used, that will be on there. And that should help to cut back on the comment spam and the registration spam if you are having a problem with that on your WordPress site. Well, I hope you found this video useful. I hope it's given you an insight into how you can protect your website from all this rubbish. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add every single week. Until next time. Take care.